Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here, and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to set up YS menu on your R4 card. And I will also be showing you how to create the custom themes for YS menu, so you can make it look a bit nicer. And the only things you're gonna need for this tutorial is a DS, an R4 card, and a computer with an internet connection. So yeah, let's get started with the video. And once you guys are on your computer, you just want to go to the first link in the description, which will bring you to the YS Menu Game Group page. And YS Menu is basically a file browser for your Nintendo DS, and it can do a bunch of things like let you load Game Boy Advance games right off the SD card, and it also removes the famous time bomb for your R4 card, so it makes it last longer if you have this installed. And yeah, what you want to do is just scroll down and click on the download button, and then the zip file should download, and that is pretty much all you'll need. And this is what the zip file looks like after opening it so just enter the second one that is in here and then you need to enter this folder and then you'll see all of these so what you want to do is just go into the r4 card model that you have i personally have this one right over here so i'll just enter that and then we'll just need to move all of these files over to the root of our sd card so just move them over and this might take some time because it is 54 items after all there you go and if we go one folder up you can see this folder called YS Menu Skins, and if you enter it, there'll be a bunch of skins for YS Menu, so you can use whichever theme you want from these ones. But right now, I'll just really quickly also show you how to make your own custom theme, because it is really easy and it also makes your YS Menu look pretty cool. So to make your custom theme, you just want to enter any theme you like, so I'll just enter the Mario one, and you'll see the three files that we need. So now just enter one of the pictures, and I'll just open it with the default photos app, and we can see that it's just a picture of Mario, but what we'll need is the resolution of this picture so you can just click this icon right over here and you can see that the resolution is 256 by 192 and the same resolution is also for the bottom screen so you don't have to worry about that anymore so to make the custom theme i'll just use a free program called paint.net you can download it for free from the link below so i'll just open that right now and here is the program and what we need to do is just go over to file click new and we want to make a new project that is 256 by 192 like so and then we can click ok and this is the size of the image that we'll need for ys menu and this is the size of the image that we'll need for ys menu so now i'll just add a custom image of my channel's art for this so i'll go over to file and then click open and then I'll navigate to the folder where I have that saved. And here I have my banner image uploaded. So now I'll just go back to this image and I'll create a new layer, like so. And then I will go back to my channel art and then get the selector tool, click on it to select it and then click Control C, which will copy this image. And then we'll go back to this one and click Control V. And you wanna click Keep Canvas Size. And now we'll need to make this quite a bit smaller, like so. And I'd say that looks pretty good. So what we can do right now is just go over to File and then Save As. And I'll just save it on my desktop. And for the format, you wanna select BMP like so and then just click save and then ok over here and then just click flatten and that should now be saved and yes it is so now we need to do the bottom screen so i'll just do that real quick and here i have the same sized image and for the bottom screen i'll open another image that i find pretty cool so i will open this background that i use for my videos and then i'll do exactly the same thing add a new layer copy this and then just move it over here and I'll just resize it and that should look something like this and now I will also add a new layer for the bottom screen and I will add a shape just so you can see the bottom screen text better because it will show up in the middle right over here so I'll just add a white shape and I will add a rounded rectangle something like this Yep, that should be pretty good. And now I'll just fill the rectangle with a solid color. So I'll go to the bucket tool and I will select a color which is white. And then I'll fill it like this. And now I'll just go ahead and save that image as well. And I'll save it as a BMP file as well. And now we have created our custom theme. And now we have both of the images made. So what we want to do to apply these is just go into the TT menu folder on our R4 card. And then you'll see YS menu 1 and YS menu 2. And then you just want to click on YS menu 1 and that is the top screen as we can see so you want to copy this name and just name your top screen YS menu 1 like so and then we'll need to do the same for the bottom screen except we'll name that YS menu 2 like that 
And now we can delete these two images from our R4 card and just replace them with my custom ones like that. And I also wanted to mention that you can change the color of the text in the actual menu. So for example, if we go into the Mario theme, you can see the ysmenu.ini file and the Mario theme has red letters. So if you want red letters on your custom theme, just replace this file with this one right over here. So basically just delete this one and place this one in its spot. And yeah, pretty much all of these themes have different letter colors, so I have no idea what the other ones have. But yeah, you can change this file with whatever one you want. And then if you don't like it, you can just put another one in its place. And right now we are back on our DS, so let's just load up the R4 card. And if you did everything correctly, it should automatically boot into YS menu. But if it booted into the normal R4 menu, just go into game and check if there is a YS menu file that you can launch. And if you can, just launch it and then you should be booted into YS menu. But if that is the case, it is very important that you try to launch a game from YS menu. So just navigate your games folder and just find a .nds file and try to launch it. And if you get this error right over here, that means you didn't do something correctly. You basically chose the folder with the wrong R4 card version at the beginning of the setup and you need to choose the correct one. And you need to swap the files with the correct ones and also delete all of the ones that are unnecessary. But yeah, now I'll just show you that everything works in YS menu. So I'll just go into games and try to launch Super Mario Bros. And as you can see, the game plays absolutely fine. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.